I know lots of you in this room have got an iPhone in your pocket, so you're very excited to hear uh, from Lisa and hear what Apple's up to. And we're just so pleased to have you with us today. Let's talk then about what you are doing in Apple 2030. So Apple's already been carbon neutral in its corporate operations, right, for mm -hmm. a few years. Right. But then you're like, that's not good enough, which no. is great to hear. And so three years ago, committed to becoming carbon neutral across entire business, including <laughs> operations, supply chain, um, and products. That's a huge undertaking, obviously. So how do you go from that big conceptual thing to into a plan? Um, I, th I think first, first, happy almost Earth Day. The reason <laughs> I say that is one of the things we did when I first got to Apple 10 years ago, 10 years this year, um, is we started celebrating Earth Day. Mm. And the idea was to, to start at home and do all this hard work and then spread it out and ripple it out. That was kind of my mission when I got there. Um, so what do we see today? If you go to our homepage today, you sort of see a culmination of announcements we made over the last week. The first is that 250 plus of our suppliers have now committed to clean energy for their Apple operations. So 250 plus suppliers, 13 gigawatts of clean energy on grids around the world because Apple has demanded it. We want it to be additional, so it's not just eating up the clean energy that other people have struggled to put on grids, so we ask our suppliers as much as possible to add new energy to grids when they, when they can. In some cases, they can't. Um, and then we had a big focus on, re, on materials. In the beginning, it was on recycling of materials, but over time, we started to see this huge connection between use of recycled materials and, climb, and carbon footprint, because obviously a recycled material, even though you have to reprocess it and transport it, it has a much lower carbon footprint than a material that comes straight from, um, from the earth and has to be mined and further smelted. And so that has been a huge uh, uh, thrust for us and is actually as important, I would say, inside mm. the company as the climate goal. Today is all about action. We're at this amazing moment uh, in the US with you know, the Inflation Reduction Act, the um, uh, Bipartisan um, Act and so on. So, and you've had that roll across both, as we mentioned. Any final sort of words of either inspiration or wisdom or something to send people away? Because we want people to get moving on this as fast as possible. Well, this is the crowd that is. <laughs> um, so for this crowd and the folks listening, I would probably say keep your energy up. Eat your, you know, Wheaties or whatever is the equivalent. <laughs> your, your power bars. Um, because I think it's really important that we not lose sight of the fact that what we're actually trying to do is cheaper, cleaner, and better. Mm. We're actually not. This is one of those rare times in um, my time, my decades as an environmentalist where what we're asking is not punitive, it's actually investment in something that over a pretty short period of time is just better all the way around um, and actually is cheaper. Um, we just have to get past the legacy systems that mm. sort of add all these additional costs or sometimes a su subsidies in the wrong direction. Yep. Um, so first off, for this crowd, stay with it. For the, for the rest of the crowd, I, I mean, for people, um, when I talk to an a, a audience that's not every day engaged in this thing, I say the same message, but I say it a little different, which is we've been taught since a long time that um, if something is better for the environment, it probably costs more. Mm. You know, when people think about organic food or they think about um, the, the things that are at least labeled as better for the planet, they think, oh, that's, that means I either I can't afford it or I have to make a sacrifice to have it. We're in a different spot now. The IRA helps with that, you know, the, the subsidies around uh, automobiles, the idea of trying to make this something that could be more um, achievable for people outside California. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> but, but um, you know, I think, uh, I think it is really to say this is not that. The environment is no longer that. Mm -hmm. You know, doing right by the planet, doing right by your children and their children is actually better for your pocketbook. And we just need to make available to you the technologies and the opportunities so you can take advantage of it. Amazing. Thank you. Please join me in thanking Lisa for joining Thank us today. You. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. Bye.